Hi, in this session we will discuss the concepts of progression. There are three types of progression popularly known in the area of aptitude. First one being arithmetic progression, second one being geometric progression and third one being harmonic progression. We will discuss concepts related to all these three progressions one by one. First we will take up arithmetic progression. In arithmetic progression we need to learn three things. First identifying the series, finding the nth term, finding summation and finding the average that is arithmetic mean. So once we have identified the series that it is an arithmetic progression we can have three different concepts in this. Now what exactly is an arithmetic progression? Arithmetic progression is where a series of numbers have a constant difference between the two consecutive numbers. Say for example 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on. Here the constant difference is 5 and first term which is popularly known as A is 5 and the common difference that is also 5 will be known as D. So henceforth whenever we ref take the reference of A and D we will be considering A as first term and D as common difference of arithmetic progression. Now how to find out nth term of arithmetic progression? As we have just discussed that the difference between any two consecutive term will be D. So for nth term the value of term will be A plus n minus 1 times D. Finding the sum of series of an arithmetic progression can also be done by the concept n by 2 into bracket 2a minus n minus 1 times d. So if we take an example of the series say 5, 11, 17 and so on and if we have to find out sum of first 30 terms, how do we find out first uh, summation of first 30 terms? So if we use the concept n by 2 into bracket 2a minus n minus 1 times d, we will get n by 2 as 30 by 2 15, 2a is 10 plus n minus 1 times d. So n minus 1 is 29 times, so 29 times d. What is the d over here? If the series is 5, 11, 17, so d will be 11 minus 5 that is 6. So 29 times 6 that is 174 plus 10 that is 184 into 15. Now 184 into 15 will be 2760. So finding the sum of first 30 terms of this series, the answer is 2760. Third concept is finding the average or it is also known as arithmetic mean. Now in arithmetic mean, the standard concept is summation of all the terms divided by number of terms popularly known as sigma n by n. Now if we continue with the same example and if we want to find out the average of first 30 terms of this arithmetic progression, we can find it out as sum of all terms which is 2760 divided by 30. So that will give me an answer of 92. Next concept of geometric progression and geometric mean. Here we need to identify four core concepts related to geometric progression. First one is the general term of geometric progression. What exactly is geometric progression? So when a series has the terms which have a common ratio between two consecutive terms, then the series is known as geometric progression. Say for example, 5, 10, 20, 40. Here, the ratio between two consecutive terms, that is 5 and 10. What is the ratio? Ratio is 2. That means 10 divided by 5. Then ratio between the next two terms, that is 10 and 20. What is the ratio? 2. So if ratio between two consecutive terms is constant, the series is known as geometric progression. So here, how do we find out nth term? So general term of geometric progression is represented as A, AR, AR square, AR cube and so on. Where A is the first term and R is the general ratio between two consecutive terms. So finding nth term of a geometric progression can be done in A into R raised to n minus 1. So if I want to find out say fifth term of a geometric progression 5, 20, 80 and so on. So here what is my first term? 5. What is the common ratio? 4. So if I have to find out fifth term of this geometric progression, the calculation will be 5 into 4 raised to 4 which is 256. So 5 into 256 will be 
1, 2, 8, 0. That is fifth term. Third interesting concept in geometric progression will be sum of the entire geometric progression. This can be defined by a into bracket 1 minus r raised to n upon 1 minus r. Now here you have to understand that in geometric progression r can never be equal to 0. At the same time r can never be equal to 1 because if r is equal to 1 all the terms will be equal and we will be left with no progression at all. So, if I write the formula a into bracket 1 minus r raised to n upon 1 minus r, I am assuming that r is not equal to 0 and it is not equal to 1. So, if I want to find out say summation of 4 terms of a geometric progression of the series we just discussed say 5, 20, 80 and so on. So, first term is 5 and common ratio is 4. So, first four terms will be a that is 5 into 1 minus r, r is 4 raised to 4 upon 1 minus 4. So, 5 into bracket 250, 5 upon 3, 1 minus 4 will be 3, both numerator and denominator will be negative, hence the negative sign will be eliminated. So, 5 into 255 upon 3 will get you an answer of 255 upon 3 will be equal to 85. So, 85 into 5 is 425. So, summation of terms, 4 terms will be 425. Then the last and the most interesting concept of geometric progression is summation to infinite terms. Now, when can we have infinite geometric terms and when can we find summation of the same? If the ratio that is r is less than 1 and greater than minus 1, only then we can find out the summation of infinite terms. Otherwise, it is not possible to find out summation of infinite terms. Again, the underlined assumption remains same that r cannot be equal to 0. And sum of infinite terms can be calculated as a upon 1 minus r. Let us take a simple example on this, where the sum to infinity is given to you as 9 by 2 and second term is given to you as minus 2. Now, if second term is minus 2, can I say that a into r is equal to minus 2? So, that will give me a is equal to minus 2 by r and if sum to infinity is given to you as 9 by 2, that means a upon 1 minus r is equal to 9 by 2. Now, let us replace the value of a as minus 2 by r in this equation. So, we get minus 2 by r into 1 minus r is equal to 9 by 2. Making a quadratic equation out of this, we will get 9r square minus 9r minus 4 is equal to 0. Solving this quadratic, we will get two possible values of r. One is minus 1 by 3 and the other one is 4 by 3. Now, it is very obvious that in an infinite geometric progression, r can never be greater than 1. So, the value 4 by 3 is not possible. Hence, r will be minus 1 by 3. Now, replacing the value of r in the original term given to us, that is a r is equal to minus 2, we will get a as 6. So, general term of this geometric progression will be a being 6 and r being minus 1 by 3. Third type of progression is harmonic progression. Now, when a series is mentioned in a way wherein its reciprocal forms an arithmetic progression, then such a series is known as harmonic progression. Let us take an example. If I say 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 6, 1 by 8, these are 4 terms. Now, they do not have a common difference, neither do they have a common ratio. But when I find the reciprocals, I will get 2, 4, 6, 8, which forms an arithmetic progression. Hence, this series will be known as harmonic progression. Here, we are supposed to learn two concepts. First one, finding the nth term and second one, finding the harmonic mean. Now, let us take an example where we will find, we will use both these concepts. Say the terms, 8th term of an harmonic progression is 1 by 31 and 51st term is 1 upon 289 and we are supposed to find out the first term. So, if we find the reciprocal of 8th term and 51st term, we will get 31 and 289. So, finding the common difference, there will be 43 differences between these two terms. 
So 43D is equal to 258 and hence the difference will be 258 divided by 43 that is 6. Now 8th term is 31. So 8th term will be first term plus 7 times the difference. So first term plus 7 times 6 that is 42 is equal to 31. So first term will be 31 minus 42 that is minus 11. Now finding the harmonic mean. Harmonic mean can be derived with the help of the concept n upon 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c and so on till 1 by nth term. So if you want to find out this mean of first 5 terms of harmonic progression wherein the terms are a, b, c, d and e, the mean will be 5 upon 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c plus 1 by d plus 1 by e. This sums up to the three standard progressions that we mostly encounter in almost all the competitive entrance exams. Thank you.